Flying the new um, 145, it felt smooth, comfortable, easy to fly, easy to control, um, and easy to read instrumentation. Uh, I think if we had to pick just one word or sentence to describe the uh, H145, then I think D3, then it would be, we'll have one. We're delighted to welcome the new H145 to the UK for the very first time. Over two days we've had 48 customers. The feedback's been great. We've been very happy to hear that the smoothness of the ride is a step change over the previous aircraft. In addition, Helionics is very intuitive. People have been remarking at how easy it was, whether they've flown Airbus products before or not. The ride comfort is significantly improved over the D2. There is a, a, a noticeable difference between the, uh, the amount of vibration and the, the ride quality. In all phases of flight, it's smooth, it's competent and it's capable. I'm interested in how that translates for the patient, uh, because if the patient experiences a smoother flight, a more comfortable flight, they're likely to arrive in the hospital in a better condition, and that to me is what it's all about. Uh, here we are, already at 100 knots. We flew the aircraft close to 140 knots and very little vibration. Reduced vibration uh, means less fatigue for the pilots, less fatigue for the, for the doctors and paramedics who are operating in the back. And I think that would be really useful for lots of different operations uh, for our corporate flying, nice and smooth, for the passengers to be more comfortable. Certainly with the longer range and the better capability of the um, five-bladed uh, 145, it means we can go further before we have to refuel, which is a major attraction to us. Uh, potentially it means that we could add equipment if we want to do um, improved or different critical care interventions, um, and it also enables us to carry more fuel and increase our endurance. In our world of uh, corporate and AOC flying, then any extra usable payload is a, is a good thing and we're taking more and more kit, more and more people to the incidents every day. So having that ability to be able to carry more equipment and, and go further with that has always got to be a good thing. One of the things I did like about it is the work that's being done on the Helionics upgrades. There's a lot more feedback to the pilot, um, information on what has been selected and the upper modes on the autopilot. It's quite incredible about the amount of information you can get onto one or two screens. It's a very informative system, it provides the pilot with all his critical flight information very easily and, and the system is intuitive to use. Flying the new H145 for D3, summing it up in one word, I would say smooth. Thoroughly enjoyable. Actually it felt like you were gliding and floating in the air. Exceptional. A really smooth airframe. Smooth. 